Right, so today we are going to look at how to do a 4K time lapse video with a Nikon Z camera, um, but I'm going to show you using my Nikon Z50. So there's two different ways you can do this. If you think the light's going to be constant, then you can do it in manual mode and set your ISO and shutter speed accordingly there. If you think that the light is going to change or you're doing a daylight to night time or night time to daylight um, time lapse then the best thing to do is put the camera into program mode like that. Then what we want to do is go into the menu and go down to ISO sensitivity settings. Oop which we're on already there we go and check that the ISO sensitivity control is on so what I can do here is I normally have as you can see here the ISO sensitivity is set from 100 to a maximum of 6400 uh, because I know that at 6400 ISO I'm going to get a good exposure of the night sky and be able to capture the Milky Way if I need to. Um, it's the highest that I'm prepared to go to in the ISO sensitivity settings. I feel it's the highest you can go before you start to lose quality or it gets too noisy. So if we come out of that next thing we're going to do is go all the way down to uh, where is it time-lapse movie mode there we go so we go into that so the important thing to remember here is the interval um, and bizarrely the interval is not the time between taking photos it's the time between the beginning of taking one photo and the next photo so the highest the shutter speed can go is 30 seconds so with 30 seconds shutter speed you need to allow a few seconds extra for the camera to process that image blah 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 so I use an interval of 33 seconds that means it can do a 30 second exposure and have three seconds left to get ready for the next exposure shooting time obviously you can go into that and change it to whatever you want um, obviously the shooting time affects the length of your time-lapse movie um, if you look down in the bottom left hand corner here you'll see this blue um, writing so what you'll see is as I go down in hours the length of the recording changes accordingly so um, you know it goes up by about four or five seconds for every hour you add I normally find I do um, a movie of about three and a half hours and that gives me, um, as you can see here, it's going to give me, blah, 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 keep adjusting. There, 16 seconds of uh, time-lapse movie in 4K. Right, so once you've got that set, click OK. Um, exposure smoothing, leave that on. Silent photography, leave that on. Uh, frame size, frame rate, obviously you can go and change it in there to whatever you want. So we might as well use 4K in 24 frames per second because that is probably the highest quality. And then interval priority, just leave that off. And then once you've got that set, you just go up to the top and press you can either press the start on the screen or the OK button in the middle of the command dial here and that will set your 
um, time lapse going. Um, the camera does say if you want to interrupt the time lapse at any time to press that OK button again. I've personally found that never works, so I always end up turning the camera off. If you do that, you don't lose anything. It's still created the movie for you, so um, it's just my way of doing it. So yeah, once you've done that, you can click Start or OK. The camera says it's preparing. And there it goes. So all the time the camera is shooting, you'll see this green light here will be on. Um, and yeah, that's as simple as that. Um, so the 4K time lapse is the same on all the Z cameras, ZFC, Z30, Z50, and Z5, Z6, Z7s, and 9. Right, these two examples look fine, but they're actually only half the length that they should be because I got the interval wrong in the camera. The camera did what I'd hold it to do, which meant that the interval was less than the exposure time, and that's why you end up with this. Composed in 3x2, when I forgot you should have been doing it in 16x9, and I forgot to turn the lens heater on. This one, I completely forgot that I was doing a time lapse, so I'm light painting, wandering around, shining a torch everywhere which makes it look like there's a thunderstorm going on, even though there isn't a uh, disaster. This one, I forgot to put the camera into auto ISO, so it stayed on ISO 100 for the entire length of this clip. What you should have been seeing was the moonset and the Milky Way sweep majestically through the sky, but yeah, another disaster. Not to be beaten, I went out and tried this one and it actually turned out exactly how it should do. So this is a daylight to night time uh, shot. Everything worked fine and this is a typical example of the sort of results you can get when everything goes right. So uh, I hope that that gives you some idea of what they should look like when they go well and the sort of disasters that can occur when you forget one simple setting. So don't be like me, double check everything and get it right first time. Thank you for watching this and uh, look out for more photographic adventures in the future. Um, I should probably start scripting what I say as well because I'm just bumbling my way through this. But thank you for watching anyway.